Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a good one for you today. So today we're gonna do a product review over Sky Drake's three bulb conversion for the tail lights. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to do the install. Um, I wanted to make these guys sequential. I had a, I had a short video that you guys may have seen. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about how to wire that stuff up. I finally figured it out, uh, not having to hack up the car. So uh, that's gonna be a good one. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we're back at the bench here and got my trusty microfiber towel. And here we go. So here we got Scott Drake's three bulb conversion insert uh, that goes back into for this is for 67 and 68 Mustangs. So what this does on the back of the 68 and 67 Mustangs and actually from I think all the way up to uh, <clears throat> in the 70s, it was actually just one bulb uh, per lens. And um, so, you know, for brake and for blinker and flashers, that one lens, uh, that one bulb does it all. So with this guy, um, you know, you increase your, your, your uh, visibility in the back. Um, it actually changes from one bulb to three. I went ahead and opened this already. I was doing um, some <clears throat> hacking here and there, trying to figure out how to make these guys sequential. And, uh, but I just want to open these guys up so you can see. So these aren't too bad, you know, you can go ahead and get these. Um, I got mine from CJ Pony Parts uh, for about $43. So as you can see, you know, it'll convert that one bulb over to three bulbs. There we go. So before we go any further, what I wanna do is I wanna explain the type of bulb that's in here. So what we have is a double filament bulb, um, two filaments. Let's see if you can see this. There we go. So you can see there's two filaments in there. Now one of the filaments is for your parking lights. So on your Mustang, when you pull your light switch out just one time, um, that first filament will turn on. Uh, so that way everyone can see you there. Now, when you hit your brake, that's when the second filament turns on. So it's twice as bright. Um, and that's that bottom filament here. So there's a, a back one and a front one. The back one is the parking, the front one is your brake, and it's also your turn signal. So you have two wires here, okay? The red one is for your parking. The green one, or the colored ones here, are for your brake and your turn signals, okay? So the bulb in here, again, is a double filament, and it's a 1157, okay? And so what I also wanna show you here is I went ahead and ordered two adapters. <clears throat> so these adapters here are an 1157 insert and as you can see it's the bottom of the bulb actually and it turns into three wires <clears throat> so one of them again is you could be using for your insert for your um, for your parking and the other one for your brake and your turn signal so essentially what you could do is wire these what you would want to do is put all three colors together <clears throat> if you didn't want to make them sequential if you just wanted to do the install what you do is you wire these three together like this you wire all the red together so now you have two and that would be your two colors so you have to figure out which one is which so honestly what you would do is just kind of probably hook it up to the red one first like that and then your blue one hook it up to the or vice versa and uh, your ground now your ground is interesting because these bulbs here with the 1157 the grounding is actually from the casing right of the bulb it's not at the bottom the bottom is actually your 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 two positives you see that your two contacts so the the casing is what grounds it so as the bulb is touching this inserts it's grounding on the insert and the insert is grounding on the car so to do this what you'll have to do is extend this wire over to <clears throat> somewhere in the car to ground um, either on the body of the car you can run it back to this guy it just it, it just has to ground somewhere on the car so just quickly to recap your colored wires here are going to be your braking your turn signal your red wires are going to be your parking. Now, I wanna talk about making these sequential. In the last video I did, I showed 
the actual three bulb conversion here. And <coughs> I was showing how the bulbs were flashing, right, sequentially. Either one, it was one, two, and three. So one on, two on, three on, uh, but they would just turn off. Now, there's a problem with that because of the way this is wired, okay? So with the sequential box that I have, again, it's blink, 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 not turn on, turn on, turn on, and it would st uh, stay turned on after the sequence. It's just blink, blink, blink. Um, and then after that, they're off, unless, and then you have to reset the power again, which your flasher does, and then again, blink, 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 blink. So that's your flasher. The problem is, is that you have your, your blinker and your brake um, on the same circuits, uh, powering the same filaments. So when you hit your brake, um, it would also engage kind of the sequential uh, box and it would still go blink, 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 uh, both of them blink, 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 but and then they would just be off because the sequential box doesn't know um, to stay on or it's not programmed that way. What I wanted to do was figure out a way on how do I actually separate, we have the blinker and it's and the brake on this guy, right? And we wanna be able to separate the blinker and the brake from the circuit, okay? So there was actually a couple ways to do this. Um, the first way I was thinking was to run a direct wire from the brake switch that's in the car underneath for the brake pedal, um, instead of going into the harness and then running it to the back and then it'd be connected that way. But running um, a dedicated wire from that brake switch all the way to the back and then having it connect to these guys. So that way it's just a constant power and it would bypass the, um, the sequential box. And then if I wanted to have uh, the sequential box in, that would also be connected to this as well and then you would hit the flasher and then the, the electricity goes through and then it hits the sequential box and blink, blink, blink. So that's one way of doing it. I found um, another way and uh, let me introduce you to the next product. So for this next product here, this is what you call a two wire to three wire tail light converter. And what it does is you have an input, right? Like we have on our car, which is left turn signal and brake, right turn signal and brake and a ground. So that's a two wire. Remember we have this, two wires, right? And what we wanna do is convert that. We wanna separate the left turn signal, right turn signal, and the brake. So what it's doing inside the box is it's taking, it's, it's, it's separating them. So you have a left turn signal now, when you, hit your, when you hit your blinker, it sends it through the yellow wire for your left turn signal. And then when you hit your right turn signal, it's gonna send that power to the, the green wire. And then when you hit your brake, now it's gonna send it through this red wire. So now I don't have to run a dedicated wire from the brake switch or anything else going to the back. This box does that automatically. So, you know, I would like to say automagically. <laughs> so uh, I didn't open up the box. I really don't care what's in it as long as it works, right? Uh, so this is what I really needed. So I wanna go ahead and install this box, right? So now what I'll do is I'll have this box here I'll have left turn signal, right turn signal, okay, and a brake. So in essence, this is how it's gonna be connected. So in here we have our sequential, <clears throat> sequential boxes, okay. Let me grab the other one. We have our sequential boxes. Now here we have our power and our ground. And on this side, we have our ground, which is black, and we have our one, two, three bulb, right? Like this. So one bulb, bulb number two, bulb number three. I wired this into the car, okay? These, these three wires, this is the left, turn, and ground. So for my, let's say I'm just gonna do the right turn signal first. So the, on the right turn signal, I take the green wire from this one here. And this guy would actually go to, which is gonna be the turn signal. So it's gonna to go to this red wire here, right? For a sequence. So from the 
from turn signal to sequencer to sequence lights, okay, on here. And then I would take the brake, bypass the sequence, and again, hook it up to the same three wires, okay? And in doing that, now I have, when I hit the blinker, seek, it goes from, it goes to the box, to sequencer, to blink, blink, blink. And if I hit the brake, it goes to box, brake wire, hits these three lights, brake constantly on. So I'm gonna go in and hook this guy up together. Um, I know that was a lot of wire talk and, and connecting and whatnot, but I wanna go ahead and, and uh, put it all together so that way you guys can see um, how it's gonna work in the car. Okay, I got everything hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and go and explain it real quickly. So I have the uh, two to three wire box here. I have my sequential box and lights one, two, and three, okay? So what I'm es essentially doing is I have power uh, going to one the turn signal and have it grounded. And then from there, uh, it's gonna come out of the turn signal, right? and then it's gonna go into the box, and then we have our light system, okay, for blink, for sequential. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit both of them, okay, uh, left and right, uh, simulating the brake uh, coming from the car. It's gonna go into the box, it's gonna come out of the brake red, and that is gonna go into, I just wired this one right here, uh, but essentially I'll have to wire all three, I just didn't have the time. So when I hit the brake, just this one comes on. So I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Um, I have my simulated 12 volts here uh, from the car. And so here is the green wire for left turn signal. I'm just gonna give that power. Uh, so when you put on your left turn signal, this is how it simulates the sequential. So as you're flashing, that's what you're gonna see. Just like that, okay? And now for your brake, what's gonna happen is I have my, <clears throat> for the brake, this box just wants to see um, both of them, uh, both of them get power, your left and right. So once it sees that, it says, oh, you're hitting the brake, it's gonna send out the red wire. So I'm gonna put these two together, simulating a power coming from the, uh, from the brake, and then now, I just have that rep, that one on there. Now the sequencer did go off 
And the only reason the sequencer did go off uh, is because it's within the circuit. So what I'm gonna have to do is put in some diodes um, that block the uh, power going back into the sequencer so that way it doesn't flash as well. So when this video is actually the first way to hook up sequential lights within the car, I have a second method which is gonna actually rely on some timing uh, relays, uh, delayed relay timers. Um, and those haven't come in yet, but once those guys do, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. Uh, on my car, that's the way I wanna do it. So within this method, it's gonna be blink, 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 uh, and then always on for break. But what I like to do is actually, when you hit the brake, I just wanna see one, two, three on and stay on. Um, and then also with the flasher, uh, when you, it's just blink, 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 but it's not, it's on, 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 on. So I like that look. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do with the, with, the, uh, with the relays. So this was one way, this is probably the cheapest way. Um, the first way here, getting away with it. Again, $43 for the lights and then another 25 bucks for the rest of the hardware. So putting that together is still under 100 bucks, which is far less than 150 something that Scott Drake wants. I try my best to figure this stuff out so that way you don't have to. So, you know, looking for the best products to be able to get stuff done and then also the cheapest, right? So um, again, like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below and uh, we'll see you on the next one. We've got some other good stuff coming up. I'm still working on the sequential flashers for the hood. I actually have something 3D printed uh, coming my way. So once that guy comes, I'll put it all together. I'll show you guys. I'll also have the, um, the model um, in the description so that way you guys can send that off and get that printed for you too. I don't have a 3D printer, so I had to get that guy sent off. Um, appreciate all your support and we'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.